are guides, we are kings We march in faith cause we believe we can Change the world to what it needs Stand against our enemies cause we can Yeah We are kings demanding change Cause we believe we can Alright, watch this uh, We finna show you bro we finna show you about that because a lot of people get caught up on it. We think we gotta know his uh, original name. Things like that, we gotta know his name in Hebrew, but we don't speak Hebrew, do we? Right, watch this, read. Uh, Psalm chapter 138 and verse two. I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word. Thy what? what? Thy word above all thy name. So God said he mag uh, so this is David talking. He said he magnified God's word above all thy name. So what's the word of God? Give me Isaiah 8 20. So this is what we gotta understand because we get caught up on it, the name, uh the language. You know what I'm saying? We gotta say everything in Hebrew, but we forget to keep the laws of God. Watch this. You got that? Read. Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 20. To the, to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Right, so it's, it don't matter what you say or what you know. If you're not speaking and doing the laws of God, you ain't got no light in you. Give me Revelation 3 and 12 real quick. Because this is, this is something a lot of people, when they find out they're Israelites, they listen to all these different camps, um, you know, all these different teachers, and they push that on our people. But they're not teaching no commandments. They're not teaching you how to rule your house. They're not teaching you how to, uh, you know what I'm saying, teach your wives and your children like he was just, you know, showing you just a second ago. Watch this. Read. Revelation chapter 3 and verse 12. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God. You gonna do what? Write upon him the name of my God. So it don't matter if you know Hebrew. We don't know the name of God yet. We don't even have the original Hebrew language. Bring it out. You know what I'm saying? We've been, we've been so disconnected from our heritage and our culture and our history, we don't know it. So when somebody tells you they know God's real name, they a lie, bro. Don't listen to that. Bring it up. We got we to gotta go off these laws, statutes, and commandments, bro. So you got any more questions pertaining to that? All right, give me uh first, give me uh first Peter 4 and 17. Give me that. Give me first, uh, start at verse 16 first. Because we got to understand that judgment is coming. And when God come and judge us, what you think he going to judge you on? You think he going to judge you whether or not you knew his name or whether or not you, you kept these laws? Matter of fact, scratch that. Give me his, uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and uh, 13. Watch this. Because this is what we got to understand as black men in our communities. You know what I'm saying? We got to understand that we got we to gotta be examples to our people. You know what I'm saying? Because if somebody, one of your, bro your brothers and sisters, they see you out here keeping God's laws, you, you teaching them to your family, you know, you got to be a light to the rest of the people out here. You know what I'm saying? In your community. Watch this. Read. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. All right. So this is the conclusion of the whole matter, whether, um, you know, it's about God's name, the original language, you know, all of that stuff that we get caught up in. Read. Fear God and keep his commandment. Do what? Fear God and keep his commandment. So you can get all the knowledge in the world. But if you ain't doing that, read. For this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work into judgment. He gonna do what? Bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. So God gonna judge us on our works. 
It's not whether you know the name or not. You know what I'm saying? So give me Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Watch this. Read. Because you already understand we Israelites. You understand we got to keep the commandments. So watch this. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Right. So these are the words that Moses spake to the Israelites. You know what I'm saying? We ain't out here for nobody else, bro. We out here for you. We out here for the other brothers and sisters that's out there. Give me seven and six. Because this is what we got to understand, bro. These, you know, with, with, uh, with us being God-chosen people, there's things required of us. But the only way to be these great people is to do what God told us. Watch this. That's right. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. So what does holy mean? It means to be separate. So the things that you're doing in your community got to be separate from what you see everybody else doing. Right? Read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. So God chose you. He chose us. Read. To be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Right. So God chose us to be a special people. Uh, whoever out here listening, man, God chose us to be a special people above all nations of the earth. And the only way that's going to happen is if we repent and keep the commandments of God. Give me First Peter 4 and 17 real quick. Because the brother was just telling you, you know, we have to make haste. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't ever get it twisted, bro. Like, we, we don't know we don't know uh, how much time we got out here, bro. That's right. We don't know that. So we got to make haste and keep these laws. Read verse uh, 16. Read. First Peter chapter 4 and verse 16. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian. No, uh. That first, 4 and 17? No, you went. Okay, verse 17. My bad. Verse 17. Read. Verse 17. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God. So judgment has to begin at the house of God. The house of God is the Israelites. Right? Read. And if it first began at us. So we getting judged first. Why? Because God gave us the laws. He didn't give them to nobody else. That's right. right. So since you know you an Israelite, bro, since you know that we got to keep God's laws, you required to teach that to your family. And God will judge you if you don't do that. You understand? Read. And if it first began at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? And if the right. So that's a rhetorical question. You know what I'm saying? Read on. Read on. Watch this. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, so do you know what righteous righteousness is? You know what it means to be righteous? What it mean? Righteousness is another word for like oh, it's when you in the when you get God's love. Exactly, exactly. Y'all praise us. You ain't gotta get it. He understand. Cause uh that's what De Deuteronomy six and twenty five. Remember that. That's what righteousness is, right? Read. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, so the scripture saying that the righteous barely gonna make it. The ones that's keeping the commandments barely going to make it, bro. It we walking the thin line out here, man. Bring it out. You know what I'm saying? Read. Where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? So where the ungodly and the sinner going to appear if the righteous barely make it? Bring it out. We already know that's a rhetorical question. You understand? So give me, uh, give me, go to Ephesians 5 real quick. Bring it out. Go to Ephesians 5. Start at, uh, start at verse 22. Bring it out, bro. The book of Ephesians, chapter 5 and verse 22. So, do you, as I'm asking you, men and men, do you have order in your household? Okay, so, all right, read. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 22. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife. Right, so, as the head of your wife, you the head of the household. You the head of your wife and the head of your children. So these are the things that you got to be showing your, your, your family. You know what I'm saying? You the head of that. So everything falls on you. You understand? Everything falls on you, bro. You judge for the way that you, um, you know, uh, orchestrate your household, the way you, you know, the way you order your household, right? Read. Even as Christ is the head of the church. So you understand that? Even as Christ is the head of the church, bro, you the head of your household. You know what I'm saying? So that's a lot of responsibility. That's a lot of responsibility, bro. So Christ can't, if Christ, Christ the head of the church, that means he can't make no mistakes. Bring it out. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and I'm not saying we are perfect, bro, but that's what we strive to be. Christ said be perfect even as your father is in heaven. Christ couldn't even make them 
Right. 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 A lot of. Right. Exactly. A lot of. We know and we understand that. We understand that a lot of people. You know, we 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 know two thirds gonna die. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But you who are listening, you know. That's why I'm talking to you. You know what I'm saying? Because we only when we when we stand in front of God, we only responsible for ourselves. Can nobody speak for us? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth